Well, hey, everybody. Oh, no, we've got no signal on our screen. Oh, we've already started out the stream with scuff. Look at that. I bet this is just a minor glitch. One second. I hope you guys really like that intro. Wait, you're telling me you didn't hear any of what I was just saying? Okay, hold up, rewind. <laughs> we'll be right back. Rise and shine, chat. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... <gasps> Well, let's just say the stream has come again. The right chatter in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, chat. Wake up and smell the ashes. Yay, there we go. How was that? <laughs> No, we don't have smell-o-vision on this stream. I'm sorry, Wireball. <laughs> God, I was so stressed about doing that intro, and I totally just scuffed it bad. That's awesome. That's so me. I'm, You know, it's almost, it's better that way. <laughs> well, welcome to the strat, uh, chat, everyone, and the stream and everything. We're celebrating Half-Life's 25th anniversary today. And, uh, well, you can't, oh, no, hey, the signal came back. How did the signal come back? It just magically reappeared. Spoopy. Oh, thanks, Wireball. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the first time you guys have seen on stream officially. And uh, I know I've previewed it before in, in uh, some other streams. But yeah, today's our first day officially streaming with the Windows 98 PC. Um, 
I uh, put a little uh, bit of information out about this PC t um, before, but in case anyone wasn't aware, um, uh, this is uh, a Dell uh, XPS uh, R450? Yeah, R450 that I restored that uh, came out in 1998 in October. This was the top of the line gaming PC offered by Dell. Uh, it was $3,300 after rebate in 1998. That's like five, six thousand dollar computer. Uh, it had like a DVD player, Harman Kardon like high end speakers. Um, it, it's crazy. It has a DVD decoder card because this was before DVD playback could be handled by the processors because the processors weren't fast enough yet um, to even handle playing DVD video. Um, but yeah, it's got a DVD player. Uh, it's got uh, a Pentium 2 450 megahertz processor, which was like crazy fast back in 1998. I actually had a, a P2, um, I think it was a P2 1, one gigahertz um, machine back uh, when I, um, you know, back one of my first PCs I ever owned. Um, so that must have been the early 2000s. I don't know. Um, that must have been from the early 2000s. Um, uh, but yeah, that was a fun PC to pl uh, play around with. Um, I think this one here has a uh, NVIDIA TNT2, um, you know, 3D accelerator. So this thing is just going to um, run Half-Life beautifully. Like this is the ultimate machine uh, you, were, you were wanting. Like this is the machine you wanted to have in November. On November uh, 19th, 1998 when Half-Life hit store shelves so uh, yeah sorry about yesterday by the way um, our uh, stream friend uh, Coopsworth uh, came down with a with some illness and we had to move the stream back to next week but um, we'll we'll um, we'll get back to Tetris um, you know I'm really looking forward to uh, hanging out with Coopsworth and uh, yeah I uh, hope they uh, get well soon it was real sad to hear that they weren't feeling well, you know. Streams come and go, but, you know, your health is always important. So take care of yourselves out there. Don't, uh, don't think you have work obligations that are more important than your health. Because, you know, you only get one, one chance at life and one body. So, you know, try to take care of it as best you can. Uh, let's see. That's going to be next Sunday. So one week from today, we're going to be playing with Coopsworth. Oh, also, for when Kami comes in, I got my... Uh, actually, I need to post on Twitter a thank you to the person who suggested uh, that there's a dark mode for Twitch, and if you just change it for the whole site, it'll change it for the um, stream manager. So now I can see chat way, way better now. Um, so feel free to use any name color you like. Uh, so yeah. Oh, is this the Adams? Is this the Adams Master wallpaper? Let me check. Oh, it says plus. Is there an Atom Smasher wallpaper? Let's see. Oh, I don't think I have it. It's arcade. Oh yeah, Duke Nukem 3D installed a bunch of uh, wallpapers uh, on my computer when uh, when I installed the uh, uh, what is it called? The Atomic Edition. Gave me a bunch of cool screenshots and stuff. Um. But yeah, MPEG-2 hardware decoders. Yeah, I have a an MPEG-2 decoder card in the machine. Uh, in I think it's using PCI, because I think this was advanced enough to have PCI, but it also still had legacy ISA in it. Um, the Oh, the sound card in this is a uh, first revision uh, Turtle Beach uh, 3D uh, audio card, the one that had like all the crazy 3D effects that they had programmed. They, they had some kind of like... API they'd set up for that. Um, unfortunately, it didn't take off. Um, they ended up getting crushed by Creative uh, Labs, who was just unstoppable back then when it came to video card or sorry, sound cards. Um, which actually, the other machine sitting right next to me uh, is a 486 machine using a Sound Blaster 16 uh, ISA card. I almost put that card in this machine, but um, when I built a dedicated DOS computer, I, t uh, I decided to use it there and use the, the original Turtle Beach 
uh, sound card that came with this machine. So it's fully accurate to spec. So um, yeah, pretty fun. Um, oh, also other announcements. Next week is Thanksgiving. So uh, we're not gonna have a stream on Thursday. Instead, we're gonna have it on Friday. So Saturday stream is on Sunday. Friday stream is on, or Thursday stream is on Friday. Saturday stream is on Sunday. Tuesday, normal day, normal time. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm gonna see if I can't get my streams at a more consistent time, 7.30 every time I stream. Um, and I might move to four hours. I'm not sure yet. I was really comfortable with the three hour time slot, but Twitch keeps kind of nudging me to saying like, every time I do my schedule, it's like, sure you didn't mean four hours? And I also uh, saw a couple of videos that were like, uh, talking about Twitch doesn't like to recommend channels that stream less than three days a week and less than four hours a stream. So you might have to bump it up to four hours a night just to get on Twitch's good side. But that should be all the announcements. Without further ado, let's get into Half-Life. I love that I can stream this computer to Twitch. It's just so crazy. Hey, what's up, Panda? Everyone, welcome our uh, uh, esteemed editor. By the way, thank you, Wireball and Nolan, for coming in and hanging out and uh, being witness to my horrible scuff. By the way, uh, someone should totally clip that intro. Wink, wink, nudge, 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 wink, wink. All right, let's see. Yeah, image looks good on screen. Yeah, I think we're ready to get, just jump right in. Oh, well, we're glad to have you. Uh, you know, don't uh, stay up too long. <laughs> and I accept your, your silly count. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8 So the fact that this intro you could walk around to control where you looked blew people's minds. This was unfathomable back at the time. Um, I mean, you gotta think, all the first-person shooters that had come before this, um, they had literally just started with, here's a gun, there's a bad guy, go shoot them. Um, but this game actually started with like, you're on a train, there's all this stuff happening, see like robots building like rocket engines and kinds of crazy stuff's happening, kind of, you know, you're like clearly in this secret government facility, has missiles. Before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Yep, this is on Windows 98. Wearable. Or, sorry, Panda. Bah. Brain. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. It's kind of crazy to believe too that this entire game was built off what was basically a quake engine um, if y'all remember uh, the stream a couple weeks ago uh, we had or not a week was it a week ago or two weeks ago we were playing quake right um oh some military shenanigans happening um Please stay away yeah, but from I mean, imagine what Quake looked like when we were playing that, and this came out basically using that same engine. Um, obviously, they've made a lot of improvements to it. 
they got, uh, I think it was 16-bit color textures, was like something they added. They added a bunch of um, this like rail system and uh, these animations that could be triggered with um, uh, waypoints like built into the map structure, so you could like trigger story beats and events and stuff. Uh, this this game was just had came out. It was just so innovative at the time. It kind of took so many of the things that it made other first-person shooters good, like some stuff from Quake, some stuff from Doom, some stuff from Duke Our 3D, um, some stuff from uh, Blood, and uh, all those other games, and kind of took all the best ideas and you know, figured out how to fit them all together, and then added a whole lot of its own kind of ideas and flair. This game just... More just, lives than your own this changed the entire things. industry when it came out. Like, just this opening sequence alone, like not even getting into the rest of the game, but just this opening sequence was a, just took everything that was normally in industry and just threw it out the window. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Wireball and Nolan Voice. Exactly. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in the world. I don't know if y'all can hear this on the stream, but you can also, um, the, the sound is three dimensional. So Reminder that speaker is where the, the sound's coming out of. And when as I move around, you can hear the, the sound changing. That was also pretty revolutionary at the time. It's a little thing, but... But, uh, very, uh... Very forward thing. Oh. Well, hi there, Mr. G-Man. How are you doing over there? Oh, that's probably not ideal. Work smart. So we should probably go Your fix that. Depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. All right. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Hey, everybody, it's Barney! Our favorite little security yard friend. All right, let's go. into the facility. I sure hope nothing bad happens while we're in there. Oh yeah, I actually, uh, so, uh, I could find my copy of Blue Ship. I found the instruction manual, but not the actual copy of it. But I couldn't find my instruction manual for Opposing Force, but I found the CD of it. My whole collection's in shambles. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. That's really, uh, confidence-inspiring. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Watch That's this. On. My God, hey, what that. are you doing? Come on, Gordon. <laughs> you trying to get me into trouble? Oh, uh, I always thought that was pretty amazing. Not uh, Anom Mat Lab Research Development 
personnel that. facilities. Sounds like where we need to go. Drinking. Gentlemen. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Yeah, right. Oh, hey. Hmm. Wonder what they're talking about. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Uh, oh. I took a wrong turn. I thought this was... Oh, did I follow the wrong arrow? I think I did. Which one was personnel? Oh, that was Material Labs. Yep, I went to the wrong one. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. Hello there. Well, hi. I can't be bothered right now. But you said hi to me. The heck? This is all within theoretical limits. <laughs> yes, that was that was silly. I I must admit. You follow the wrong arrow? Yeah. Okay. Blue was not the right arrow. Okay. No smoking. Duly noted. Hello. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder if I should run that test again. My god! What are you doing? <laughs> Being a menace. Being an absolute menace. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I can't be bothered right now. Why then? Hmm. Getting a little screen tearing. Let me check my settings real quick. Uh, or faster software spikes. Maybe that'll help. Video modes. You know, let's see if OpenGL works. Oh. That's probably not going to work with my NVIDIA card, but we'll give it a go. Uh, OpenGL mode is not supported by your video card. Da <laughs> ha yeah, I've had a feeling. Do, 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 do. We're switching back to default. It's probably going to say the same thing, but worth a try. Oh. 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 Is it? Is it? Uh-oh. Did I crash the game? Uh-oh. I think I crashed it. Ruh-roh. <laughs> oh, the joys of uh, retro gaming on a PC. Well, now. Nope. Note to self, Half-Life doesn't like OpenGL on this video card at all. <laughs> well, hey, you get to see the, the computer boot sequence. 
And this kind of proves I am actually running it on an actual computer, not an emulator. Oh no, scan disk. We can skip the scan disk windows, it's fine. My capture card is just like, why? Why do you keep changing resolution? Stop it. All right, let's get back into Half-Life. See, uh, see what damage is done. Let's change that, uh, that configuration. Yeah, no thanks. Let's go back to Direct 3D. <laughs> I'll just deal with the screen tearing. It's not that big a deal. Autosave. Let's see how far that autosave is. All right, eh, not that bad. What way I'm getting that screen tearing? I'll have to look into that later. Might be a better driver for this video card I can download and install. Though I'm always so afraid to change things. Like once I get, like so with with an old game, like an old Windows 98 game, uh, or with an old Windows 98 computer. Once you get things stable, even if they don't run the best hey, Mr. Freeman. it's pretty uh pretty common practice just to like leave it alone because <laughs> in in your attempt to make it faster or better you, you can totally just break everything um and just absolutely destroy all your hard work there we go hello Hope those containment. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? So, I forget exactly what the importance is of all of these uh, lockers. No, where did I think leave that most of these were charge. the names of some of the developers? But I think some of these were also kind of like inside jokes, like Bond. But I don't quite recall. Does anyone anyone know? As I expected. And here's our locker. Let's see, what do we got here? The 37th Mandala by Mark Laidlaw. Am I kidding my glasses again? Which that was one of the names on the plaques here. Yeah, Laidlaw. I think that was one of the level designers. And what is the other one? The Yeah, I can't tell what that is. There's our diploma. And there's our little daughter. Hey. And y'all probably didn't know that. Gordon Freeman has a daughter. Well, I don't know if it's canon, but uh during the development phase, uh, I forget which one of the designers uh, snuck a picture of his daughter into the texture pack and like hit it in some random spot like you, you know you can't get to. Um, but one of the other uh, designers found it, saw it was this cute picture of a baby, and was like, "Oh, let's put that in Gordon's locker." <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was just a nice little little Easter egg there. It's one of the developers' daughters. Okay. Yeah, exactly, let's go. I mean, pretty much you're you're gonna have about the same outcome as uh and what we're about to uh embark on. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 protective system for use 
in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. <laughs> <laughs> I love the voice of the HEV. It's just so silly. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. What do you mean most? What do you mean most? Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's hit the bathroom. Hands. Yeah. All right. Time to go handle some hazardous materials. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Didn't you ask me that ten minutes ago? What, you... what is this cart full of gear? What What does it do? What is it for? You'll just have to wait until after the test. But I want to know now. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Doing a little dance there, partner? Show me your moves! Right. Don't let me through? Thank you. There's a little tramp. Uranium shipment inspection team. Working as a team. All right. What other cool motivational posters do we got here? Technology. Helicopters. Damn on this side. Oh no. Got a damn. Safety. Heck yeah, safety. <laughs> I love that early, like, uh, version of Barney that snuck its way into the game. Yeah, look at the Black Mesa. Out in beautiful, uh, Nevada, Attention. maybe? Any security violation to I'm not really sure where Black Mesa is supposed to be. One. Esoteric sampling device. Crash cart. What is that? Is a crash cart a thing? Or are you just making it funny there, Lisko? No, no. Let's not. Let's not go exploring. We got. We're already late. Thank you. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Freeman. What's up? Why don't you guys stop talking when I walked up? Are you running those tunneling ladders calculations again? Are you just changing the subject? Don't be ridiculous. Wait, are you changing the set? All right, fine then. Didn't want to talk to you either. All right, control room, test lab. Some cells, ionization chamber. I think we are in the test lab. Can we do this later? It oh, he didn't need to be anything, right? I guess that's why he's mad that I bothered him. Oh, that's neat. Good to know, Lisco. Thank you for informing us. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. 
They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Why you gotta say it like that, pal? Why you gotta? The, why are you making me feel so nervous? Is anyone else getting positively? Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's about to go critical. Critical? What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Wait. The computer just exploded when you were asking me to go to the test chamber? What is going on? I'm sure it'll be fine. We're in a top secret government facility. What what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Nothing nothing could go wrong. Well, I'm not gonna miss that sign. analysis procedures today, Gordon. What do you mean? Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, I don't like unstable. standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I Twitching? How you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's yes, a I do. He's a trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Uh, guys? Ooh, pretty. You know, guys, I was just thinking, um, you know, we, we have robots, right? Testing. Should we just get them to do this? Seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. You know, uh, did, why do I have to, can't you just control this from in there? What? Guys? Hear me over the whirring? Said at Chernobyl. It should be coming up to you any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. You know, it's it's on wheels. We could just get one of the robots. Oh, never mind. All right, in we go. Oh 
me? the guys in the control room. Oh! Oh no. I don't, I, I think that's gonna need more than a band-aid. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's gonna, oh, Ooh. well, yeah, focus on that guy. Jesus. It's fine. Just a tiny explosion. Just a lot of corpses. I'm sure everything's fine. Just get away from the, from the, from the explosion. I'm sure I'm sure things are better in the rest of the facility. Oh. Uh what is that? Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Yeah, let's get... Uh... That's, uh... Let's should, go. You should, you should come. You should, you should come rather quickly. Look at that. What do you mean, how interesting? Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Run! Hello, friend. Are you... Why are you walking this? Are you... Ah, your weird bug thing! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's, uh... That's very not good. Ah! Uh, laser, nice laser. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this might come in handy. I'll just get the next one. Oh. 
time to explore that ladder. Oh boy! Oh, that's not how that works. Ow. Yeah, so, uh, apparently you can't stand on those ledges? Uh, didn't know that. Uh... I got it, Barney. Jeez Louise. No. Yeah, you get him. Get him. Get him. That'll look nice in my trophy room. Yeah. Barney, you're my hero. What is that? Smell. Um. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Yeah, come with me, Barney. Let's 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 pair up, buddy system. Oh, our posters are broken. Oh. Uh, don't don't look don't look down, Barney. Just let's just move forward. Oh, what got this guy? He hit the wall? That's wild. Oh. Oh, it's more of those things. Get him. Get him, buddy. Get him, buddy. Yeah, it's the Barney Show. Barney? Barney? I <laughs> got another one. Nice. Good job. You. Well, I guess he'll... Oh, does this mean we're not going to find out what this is on, on this cart? I have See? A bad feeling about this. This is why I told you. You should have told me before the experiment. Die. All right, moving on. Maybe we'll find an instruction manual or something for that later. Uh, what was that way? I don't remember. Rubble, broken door. Attention, sector C, size, personnel, please report. Oh, it's one of those things. Man. That's one less hollow. Can we get out that way? All right. You would open the door, buddy? Buddy? Okay. Oops. Just a little explosion. Nothing to be afraid of. Just a few more explosions. Oh. Those things. Let's, let's just leave it alone. No, we're leaving Barney behind. I'm sure he'll, uh... You can just, uh, follow my path. Ah! Ah! Creepy thing. Buddy? How? Oh boy, yeah, let's go. Oh, Barney, no! Oh, Barney. I will avenge you. What is 
that noise? Let me in. Ow! Whoa! Bad puppy. Um, bu buddy? Y'all all right there? Oh, what is it? Alright. I don't know what happened there. I'm just gonna move on. Oh, hi, G-Man. Ah! Oh, there's like some kind of auto aim enabled. We need to go turn that off. All right, let's go see about turning off. Uh... Oh yeah, let's save our game. Uh, uh, chat, chat, um, chat, chat, what happened? Advanced controls, crosshair, reverse mouse, mouse look, mouse filter. Uh, joystick look. Auto aim. Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> it's three emo, just crush your eyes. Uh, oh, F6 is quick save. What is quick load? Because I think we, uh, we might need that. Well, let's just do a manual load. It's just low right just unforeseen consequences what a wonderful uh oh ah <laughs> windows 98 is the best Oh, that's a good idea, Wireball. Let's give that a try. Aha! Uh -huh. Good call. But now I've lost sound. All right, well, let's just close the client and reopen it. Oh, I wonder if I've got... Hold on, I wanna check something. Oh, it doesn't tell me what version it is. Is the executable? 4077. Uh, okay. Uh, we are on 409, and this was, what, 407? Yeah, okay, so we have a newer version of DirectX, so. Um. Oh, I have more RAM in this system than I thought. I thought I only had 128 megabytes. Oh. 
Oh, this is a TNT one. This isn't even a TNT two. Interesting. But 16 megabytes of uh, video memory, so plenty enough for uh, Half Life. All right, let's try loading our game again. Unforeseen consequences. I love this. <laughs> That's the name of this section. All right, cool. We are back in business. Hmm. Oh, what are you? Oh, hey, ammo. Let's go. All right, dealt with that one. Oh. Well, I mean, one way to hide from the ah. Jerk. What? This is the most useless sewer tunnel ever. Who designed this sewer system? The government. That's the answer. The government. <clears throat> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Oh, I see. All right, we gotta go around. Oh no, that wasn't great. Well, you just kind of go from zero to dead real quick with water. Let's keep that in mind. Another poor Barney. No, no, don't leave without me. Yeah, where, where are we supposed to be going up? Right, up, up was where we wanted to go. Bye. Goodbye. Ah. Ah. Raining head crabs. Ow. Everywhere. All right. Ah. Wait for me. Ah. Drop me, you stupid jumping. Ow. Ah, help that. Oh, man. It. All right. We're using all our ammo like that, but then I'm getting killed by weird monster things. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. By the way, um, <clears throat> another really cool thing this game introduced was destructibility. Like, the fact that I can actually destroy things with a crowbar in this game is just insane. It, it's, it's really hard to believe it. This was like the first game you could do that. Like, they had the idea to just be like, 
shouldn't the world, like, you know, shouldn't things change? <laughs> uh, yeah, shouldn't things change with the... Um, ways? Uh, shouldn't the world change in response to the player's actions? And so they were like, well, of course wooden crates would explode when you punch them. Okay, let's... Oh no, I should have hit F6. I might have just busted it again. Shoot. Yep, I busted it. Dang it. Sorry, chat. I'll have to remember what Lisko told us about F6. Do that next time. At least it's really fast to load in. Thank you, Pentium2450. And, uh... I forgot what kind of, um... Um, hard drive I've got. Flashlight battery. You know what it is? I don't like it. I don't like that either. More of those jumpy things. Bye. No, oh, that's bad. We don't want to get compacted. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to touch those things. Something underground or underwater? No. Is there a ladder somewhere? Missing something. Oh, I may want to turn up the gamma some. Oh shoot. I did the thing. Uh yeah, let's gamma slightly. Gonna break. Ah, dang it. That's Windows 98 for you. F7 fast loads too. Thank you, let's go. That will come in handy. Alright. Back in it we go. Ah, here's our, uh... Oh, health! Oh, health station. I do love thee. Block puzzles, our favorite. See if we can use these to get across the river of goo. Aha! River of Goo successfully crossed. And we can top off our HP. Look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that wasn't open. Yeah, gummit. Where are we supposed to go? Can't open the door. It's 
see. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. yeah, good observation there, Wirebolt. That's probably for the best that those aren't next to each other. Um, all right, so I think we gotta get up there. Oh, why didn't you open before? goodies. No goodies. Nope. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, shoot. Missed the jump. Oh, well. Alright. Let's get moving. Enough playing around in the water. F6 is quick save. Yeah, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna need to jump that. Oh, just call me crazy. Yeah. Gordon, have ice skates on. Oh. oh, I almost missed that. I made it. Up we go. Maybe we made it past all the weird, creepy monster things. Maybe we're home free. I'm just gonna take the elevator, go all the way to the surface, and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, radio for help and everything will be hunky-dory. It'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. Lights were these. You are from the anomalous materials lab. Yes, I recognize you. Oh, buddy. All right. Well. Ow. Didn't hurt a lot. dead and I need medical attention. Hmm. Well, that seems too risky. Door. Darkness. It's a med pack when you need one.
Well. That set us back. Oh, man, I gotta do this again. Alright, chat. Remind me I need to, uh... <laughs> uh, I believe you're right. I always doubted you. Sneaky. Yeah. Alright, I need to remember to save uh, more often. I'm clearly not saving enough. <gasps> okay. Alright. And down. Alright. F6. Let's see. Um, right, that was down where we came from. Oh, we get to ride the elevator again. How nice. And this time we don't have the false hope. Ding dong. It's F6. Gibbs, all the Gibbs, all the many Gibbs. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Nothing to chaos theory. Gordon, if I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service, but I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Sure thing, pal. That's good thinking. Let's, uh... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh... I don't know, Brain. What do we... You know, how, well, how are we going to reupholster like this money. couch? Oh, no. You want to take over the world. Right. Got it. Never mind. I hope those people in the Lambda Lab can get this under control. Oh. That's nice. You'll be fine in the dark, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Now we can get through here without getting exploded. Have fun, little head crab. Yeah, we're not going to go there. Save. Freaky little gross thing. Ew. Woo! Big gun. That's much better. What's up, Barney? Uh, buddy, look out! Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Can you open the door for me? Buddy? Buddy? Can you... Can you... It's just right there. Can you... Friend? Barney? Pal? I'll go around. Oh. Wait. The box is over here. Ooh, boxes of stuff. Ooh, boxes of health. All right, buddy, you you gotta open this for me, pal. 
Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by. Can you please open the I gate? Get my hands on the guy responsible for this mess. There, no? Barney, Barney, can you, can you please? Barney, I'm stuck in here. Barney. Let's get the hell out of here. Help. What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there like a, a vent or a pathway down here I'm missing? The script got interrupted, probably hit F7. Aww. F7. Move not too far back. Around the corner. Man, did you see that shot? That's a nice shot. Thank you, Barney. Get him. Oh. Can you open the door? Can you open? Are you gonna... Hmm. Well. Third time's a charm. One, Barney. Yeah, we did it. Thank you. Let's go. All right, buddy. Let's go. Stick with me. Oh, oh, oh yeah, buddy. Ah. Oh, maybe I need you to open a door for me or something back this way. Come on, buddy. to do boy howdy oh 
How do we do it without getting electrocuted? Ow, ow, ow. Ah! You two, bit of a... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that was terrifying. That's an ocean hazard. Look at this shoddy workmanship. They just like cut the whoa. They just they just cut this vent open and we're like, ah, just throw a fan in here, it'll be fine. Well, they know someone's actually gonna be in here. For funsies, let's try these doors. Oh, that's the way we came. How Dark Souls like? Ah! Uh, Valve logos in the uh, wall insulation. Not great. What the heck is that even? Oh, that's like a big thing. Hmm. Of six. Gordon Freon AC repair. Nice. Yeah, haircut o -matic. Um. Metal box will protect me from angry gun. this one down oh man how do I oh boy I need a box I can jump on Oh. 
Could be something really nice up there. All this work. Uh. Nope. Why are you on ice skates all of a sudden, Box? There we go. Yay, we made it. Kidding me? That w wasn't worth it at all, you stupid turret. Yeah, gum. Well, F6. Hey, Barney. What you shooting at? That's one less horror in the world. Okay, I'll cover you. Nice, thank you. Oh yeah, it's lots. Hey, shoot him, Barney. Hello. I just turn off the lights. It appears the containment system has completely failed. No crap, Sherlock. I'll need a hand. Yeah, let's not uh, let's let's not get too close to that um, that vent. Like a cold one right now. Got one. Ow. Ow, don't shoot me, Barney. Got one. Hey, you little alien bastard. Man, ah! did, you see that shot? did you shoot me, Barney? Oh, that's one. Reloading. Ah! Lights on. Why do, you, why do you want it to be dark in here? Here, no. No, stand around in the dark. That's weird. I got that one, Barney. Oh, a poll suggestion. Let's hyper. Let, let's let's do a quick save. If you could be any of any one of the following Half-Life monsters, which would it be? Headcrab, Barnacle, or one of the EMP pugs? That's a great suggestion. Let me set that up. One second.
Let's see, what were the options? Head crab, barnacle, EMP pugs. Make sure I spelled barnacle, right? Barn eagle. All right, poll's been posted. Thank you for the poll suggestion, Wearball. No, I don't think it's weird. I think it's a cool. I think it's a real good suggestion. Ah, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. I just overheard the secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived, and they're coming to rescue us. Hey, I'm glad I got this old sidearm off the arm. Them. Yes. Cool. The soldiers will save us, surely. Barney, no! Oh, Barney, my friend! Can I have your gun? Thank you. Oh, boy. Explosive. Let's, let's break that one. All right. Onward. Oh, it's nine o'clock. We should probably take our break. Um, let's wait till we get the results of the poll back, and then, uh, and then we'll take our break. How's that sound, chat? Hey, Mr. Freeman. Hey, Barney. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. I don't know if we should go any further. This doesn't look right. All right, if you want to stay here. I'll be happy to survive this with all my parts. Vent. Sequence. Oh yeah, it looks like kind of a secret. Ah, head crab. Feel like an exterminator. The aliens are killed. All right, goodbye. Ow, jerk. What what is the point of this? Why was this even there? Shoddy government like construction. Spend the money because it's in the budget. Doesn't even matter if it doesn't make sense. Oh god into this this whole situation in the first place. Oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> we got us some grenades. Now we can. Oh, <laughs> nice. Let me hit something around that corner. I have a feeling I'm going to need this grenade. Any other cool gizmos in here? Is 
Okay. Oh, yep. Oh, Gordon does not have a very good throwing arm. over here real quick. Back the way we came. Alright. Onward into the dark, weird corridor. Oh yeah, we should save. Save in a while. We make it to the cafeteria. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Just went in a circle. Some pretty hardcore door. See what's uh, in this vent. Of course, it's a head crab. No surprise there. See what they want me to do here. Oh. oh, now it just goes back and forth forever. Okay, cool. Up and away. Case we'll need them. Uh. Hey, buddy. 
at six while we're here. Let's see. Not only that. the pole doing? Ah, the pole finished. Looks like a good place to pause. Let's see what our results were. All right. Uh, head crab. Overwhelmingly, most people chose head crab. Interesting. Let's see if those people want to be a head crab. I personally would be one of the EMP pugs, because uh, I think they make really cute noises, but, you know, that's just me. Alright, let's go take our 15 minute break, shall we? Shock doggos, that's right. Whoever voted Barnacles, you should, during the during the break, please post in chat your reasoning, because I'm pretty curious why you want to be a Barnacle. <sighs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out so far. We'll have more to come in the second half. Bye, everyone. See you in about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, go get yourself a snack. Hug a loved one. Text a friend. Check your Discord messages. You know, clear, clear all those at everyone's I've been sending on the Discord. <laughs> Join the Discord, uh, join our Discord server if you haven't already. But anyways, enjoy your break. I'll see you back here in 15 minutes. Toodaloo.
Super crumbly.
Well, hello there, chat. Welcome back. Hope everyone's doing very well and had a really wonderful snack. What did you guys have for a snack while we were on our break? I had uh, baklava, but not normal baklava. I had this like Caucasus Mountain variant of baklava. It's like a lot more crumbly and kind of kind of these dry cake layers between the um, nut filling. It's really good. And it's got like a honey glaze on top. Quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely alive, Nolan. And um, you had some ice cream. Ooh, what flavor ice cream? In fact, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? While we're on the topic of ice cream. Oh, you had ice. Oh, well, it's not exactly ice cream. Ah! Well, that happened. Not this time. Wow, I did not realize those things were a one-hit kill. That is uh, good to know. <laughs> Barnacle had me for, for a snack. Yeah, I can't deny that's uh, that's what happened. I hope I was at least tasty. I imagine Gordon's not very, you know, edible considering he's wearing like a giant metal suit. down here. Hey, man, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb. Yeah, de definitely don't take the elevators. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good call. Go in a big circle. I mean, I'll take the health. Oh, this is. Ah! The crabs are really getting on my nerves. Jerk. Thinking. Uh, hi. <laughs> Dr. Von Buren. Diplomatic relations. Yeah. 
I'm sure that guy is totally on the level and has nothing to do with any of the horrible things that have been happening lately. Absolutely. Huh. Dead security guard, a false wall, some grenades, and a filing cabinet. Barney, can you let me out? Thank you. I don't think I can last what was longer. Dr. Van Buren up to? I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go down there. What there is the letter. Do we do we really got to make that jump? There's no Uh, but buddy, you doing okay up there? You uh you all right? Need some help? Where the heck? I don't think I can make that jump. Um What in the world? Ladder I'm missing? No, that that looks like the only ladder. Who is responsible for this mess? Uh, us, Doc. I think we're responsible. Help. Yeah. F6, here we go. Hit the filing cabinet. Uh, all right, let's hit the filing cabinet. Oh. They come apart. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't know those did that. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, oh yeah, Gordon Freeman doesn't wear a helmet. That's right. Oh, I made it. Look at that. Um. Okay. You, uh, just, uh, swing. Swing my... Yeah, well... something. High security storage facility. Authorized personnel only. For God's sake, open the metal door! They're coming for us! It's our only way out! Oh my God, we're doomed! <laughs> well, a lot just happened right there. Let's go ahead and save. Charge our little suit with our uh, oops. That's no bueno.
Inconvenient head crab delivery. Can you stop that? Sir, not a fan. All right, all right, Wireball. Hope you had fun. Enjoy your lurking. We appreciate our lurkers just as much as our chatters. are no longer required. Ice physics floor. Oh, hey, it's our friend the G Man. Hi, G Man. How are you?
Very nice. Yeah, how'd you like it? Coopsworth, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Feeling any better? Your throat's still feeling sore. I hope that clears up soon. Being sick is the worst. Did you get a chance to do anything fun this weekend with uh, being sick and all? You know, in spite of being sick? Shotgun ammo? Oh, I am. Wow, I need to use shotgun ammo. Just chill. Hey, you know, that's. <coughs> Prob <coughs> Excuse me. Probably for the best, you know, if you're feeling sick. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna open every single crate if I don't. If I don't tell myself to stop, this will take forever. This gun is not very accurate. Ow, ow, that, that hallway is very unfun. Ow. All right, took those guys out. Hmm. Let's go see what was down there. Cause I bet it was something interesting if it was so. Heavily guarded. Hit me with you. Dang it. Well, nope, I'm going back now. Oh, I'm getting totally destroyed. Let's try that again. Um, this time, I'm gonna knock all those down. Ow. I'm gonna see what's this way first. Okay, 
Oh, resupply room. Nice. This will help me in the next area. Save that. Ooh. More goodies. Ah. Oh no, ah, run. Okay. Get there. Hmm. All right. That's what happens when you get shot. Don't shoot! I'm with the science team! Oh. Well now. So thanks for stopping by. Um, just to give you a little heads up, what we're doing, we're playing uh, the original Half Life, and uh, I'm playing it on a uh, actual Windows 98 computer uh, that is itself 25 years old. So the same age as the game we're playing. This this machine would have been one of the top of the line computers uh, back in the day uh, when this game came out. So this would have been. Um, kind of your expected experience you'd have uh, uh, playing this game for the first time when it just hit the market. Which I'm sad to say it's not been super smooth. We've definitely had, oh that's a grenade. Uh, we've definitely had some hiccups with uh, driver problems and uh, the game crashing. Um, That's pretty much par for the course in, you know, Windows 98 world. That's not good.
Oh! Oh! Wow! Uh... Dang. They, uh, they are no joke. Those soldiers are not playing around. They come to clean up a mess. They come to clean up a mess. Whew. So maybe we can use some grenades. Dang. Did I get airstriked? Wow. Jeez, please. Surface is serious business. Maybe, uh... Maybe it is better to run and hide than to fight. Woop, 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 woop. That, that went way better. Yeah, just, just run away. Run away was the, was the right call there, I think. Hey, what is going on up there? Loud. Super serious. Okay, so uh, run away and then just keep running. Got it. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. All right. We'll save when we get down here. And then go into the go into those vents. Why is it so loud? Alright, we've got a plan. Open the door, and I'm just gonna start running down the, uh, the thing. I'm not even gonna give the soldiers a chance to attack me. Oh, I can't go that way. Right, ran on by. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, let's go this way. Before we do this, quick save.
Spooky, spooky, spooky. That sounds safe. You can trust them. You can trust all of them. Good luck. Yeah, Lambda team. Cool. Yeah, let's uh let's do it, I guess. Here we go. Blast pit. That's a lovely name. Oh. Okay. Who's making that splattering noise? Oh, it's one of those guys. Dead? Yeah, I think it's dead. Grab. Pretty bad room to hit things in. Oh boy. This feels like a mistake. Thank you. All right. You're well maintained for a set of abandoned tunnels. Let's not be too abandoned. Time to save. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, let's not touch the green stuff. That, that, the green stuff's probably bad. Just a hunch. cleaning. That's a dead end. Wait, that's another dead end. Wait, what? Oh. 
access. That's uh, this is actually where Mountain Dew gets made. And the Black Mesa, um, Black Mesa Hazardous Materials uh, Lab. They uh, sold the rights to Coca Cola. That's how they did the fundraising to get the sample that uh, resulted in the. Um, the cascade. But are you? Well, they're immune to uh, radiation. That's good to know. How in the world do I get that stuff? I can't believe this is working. <laughs> That's how we get this stuff. Right. Ow, ow, ow. We're fine. We're fine. The, the suit protect us. Sure. Sure. It's, uh, the, yeah, there, there'll be no negative repercussions to that accident. Scientist? Too bony. shot from ah it I mean in my defense it was a very very ugly dog Gosh. No, no, no! Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! Well, uh. Sorry, bud! No, uh. Not much I can do to help you there. Oh, I think 
think I remember this puzzle. You have to like distract this stupid thing with like grenades. Okay, so if I remember this puzzle correctly, we gotta get the two fuels into the test chamber so we can get the rocket blasting. Really clever puzzle when you, um, I mean, it seems pretty obvious now. Um, but like, back in the day, I mean, you just didn't, you're still alive. You just didn't have games doing puzzles like that, you know, it was all get the key, run in the room, you know, figure out which wall went where to get you to which key. Alright. Missing something. <laughs> I can kind of interact with the... That didn't work. Ow. Finicky game. Down we go. I'm sure it'll be fine. Perfectly safe. What could go wrong? Uh, let's go left. Big the um, the the facility feels, you know, like it like it feels like it's an actual real life like scientific facility, you know. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna be able to get through this? Okay. Ooh. For a second there, I thought that wasn't gonna gonna work. But yeah, one thing I, I very distinctly love about this game is it, it gives you such a great sense of place. You know, like, it really feels like these are interconnected, you know, pieces of a, of a facility. Um, you know, if you don't think about the geometry too much, you know, like, why is the only way to enter that area, which is clearly some very you know, integral piece of infrastructure. 
Why is there only way to get there through the sewer? You know, why is there no doors or anything? But if you don't think about it too hard, then it all makes more sense. What is down that? What are you doing? Take care of you, because you're probably going to be a problem later if I don't. <clears throat> Come on. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it really does feel like a massive facility, Dolan. Like, like it's so like it's really cool. Like you can, you you definitely um, it's definitely very um, immersive. Hey, Gummit, why can't I go in the fuel room? Blessing in disguise. There's headcrabs in here. And isn't there headcrabs in here? Now this area, this definitely looks very original Quake. Like you can definitely tell whoever built this particular room was definitely like this. This I wonder if this this room, but this puzzle was designed early on in the, in the process when they were still kind of figuring out the Half Life aesthetic. Because this, uh, especially these pipes, this like screams Quake. Anybody else think that think so? You know, just, this whole just a it's a whole quake vibe, I think. Oh, is that the room that I? Oh, cool. All right. Have y'all seen that uh, documentary they uh, released uh, yesterday uh, about, you know, the making of Half-Life for the 25th anniversary? 
There's a lot of really interesting interviews that I, I really got a lot of. I thought I knew a lot about this game. You know, I was like, oh, you know, this would be fun to watch just to, you know, just to pass the time, but I actually really learned a lot. Ow! do that. Probably what the lower area is for. Dad gum it. <clears throat> what? Dad gum it. There's that guy that was shooting us earlier. Really use that HP boost, couldn't we? Oh, and just the fact that like the guns reloaded. Like I didn't even touch on that earlier. The guns reloading, that was that was unheard of at the time. Like, if you, you had a gun, you just had one continuous, like, supply of ammunition. Like, there wasn't, uh, you know, different, uh, ones for different, uh, uses. It was for, um, you know, there wasn't, like, 
like you you had magazines or or anything like that. It was all just all or nothing. Either had ammo or you had no ammo. He didn't survive. What did that do? Called an elevator. Alright. Down we go. Hopefully not all the way down. But I just had to open my big... My big mouth. Okay. That, uh, that's an F6. Oh yeah, by the way, Coopsworth, if you're still out there, we had a poll earlier about if you could be any enemy in a Half-Life game uh, between the head crab, the barnacle, and the uh, the, ele the the electric go-boom uh, pugs, uh, what would you choose? I'd be a pug. Yes, I'll wait. That's not good. What is this? Oh, the railings and have an invisible wall on it. Alright. Dealt with that guy. Designed this place. Designed this place. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Run, 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 run. Ow. Really gotta be better on my ankles. Ugh. All right. That should have turned the power back on, so we should be able to fire the ignition and, uh, let's go over that this time. Dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. Yeah, no, no Excellent. duh. Someone has restored all power. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Yeah, that someone was me, guy. <sighs> all right. Yeah, I don't think the elevator works anymore. Oh, let's save. All right, y'all, let's go blow us up a giant alien tentacle monster, and then we'll call it for the night. I think that's, uh, that's enough Half-Life uh, to celebrate that uh, good old 25th uh, anniversary. Major I 
gotta stop breaking my legs. Ugh. Oh. That's not ideal. Uh-oh, man. Ow. Speaking of my legs. Right, let's make a little, little block bridge. Go, go, block bridge. Gonna make a block bridge. Go, go, block bridge. It's gonna be the best little bridge. I will say this game was revolutionary and they did a lot of really cool stuff, but uh, yeah, the physics definitely weren't the craziest. Like, the physics were good. They did a lot of cool stuff for the time, but um, you can definitely feel the jank. Like, them just, you know, figuring out how to do this stuff. How am I supposed to get these guys? Ow. Ow. All right, good enough. Saving. Make our way back up the uh, better way up. Uh, no. Oh, now we're gonna get past the tentacles. We're like really low on grenades.
Oh, I can't go through the window. Oh, no. Wow, it won't let me go through this. Oh, that's so mean. Run. Ugh. F freaking six, guys. Wow. All right. Let's uh. Let's, let's take us down a giant, like tentacle monster. Yeah, the crouch space stuff. That's um. You get that later when you have like a um. There's like a. It's not a jetpack. It's like a jump booster. But anyways, get wrecked, tentacle monster. <laughs> Ow, I'm on fire. More tentacle monster. All right. Oh, 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 poor Barney. I guess the, uh, I guess the blast doors malfunctioned. All right, buddy. All right. Mel's like, Burned asparagus. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All right. Ow, ow, my legs. That's what the monster actually looks like. Those are its little hands. Oh, now I feel kind of bad for it. Poor thing. Oh. Radiation. Oh, hello. New weapon. But, I think in this horribly radioactive uh, pit of death, we're going to have to call it. Go ahead and save our progress so that we don't, uh, if we come back to this, we'll, uh, know right where we're picking back up. I'll even do a manual save just for extra safety. And it broke again. <laughs> All right, that just about does it for Half Life. Happy 24th anniversary, or 25th anniversary, Half Life. Been a wonderful 25 years of uh, first-person shooter innovation. All started with Half-Life. What a neat game. Um, yeah, I guess that's just about it. Um, yeah, we only went 10 minutes over. Let me get us switched over to our end screen. And I'm going to go see if I can find us someone to raid. I actually need to move my mic and stream deck and stuff over to my other computer. So the, the retro PC is actually set up in the same room as the uh, streaming PC, so convenient. Get us a little music quiet in here. Yeah, it's nice and convenient The uh, that I've got the streaming PC in the same room. Um, basically, all the PCs are in one room, all the game consoles are another. That's why this my setup is so convoluted and weird. All right, let's see who's rateable. Who is rateable? 
Yeah, I think Half Life does hold up pretty well, Wireball. I I I had a lot of fun today playing it. Um, it's a really fun game. Like even now, it's fun. Like it looks a little mm, old. <laughs> like 3D games don't really hold up as well. And maybe one day I'll tell y'all about my. Um, I have this graphics curve I idea in my head where, you know, starting with the earliest games, we basically had a doubling of, or even tripling of graphics fidelity up until I think Half-Life 2. And after Half-Life 2, we got to kind of a point where polygon density and texture quality were at a point that yes, you could still do improvements and there definitely were improvements, but it definitely started the kind of tapering off of the innovations in, in graphical fidelity. Um, and so I think Half-Life 2, right around Half-Life 2 is about when 3D games kind of started to hit that, um, you know, kind of le started leveling off. So like if you play an early 3D game that came out around the time of Half-Life 2, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think you're going to have a lot less people complaining about the way the graphics look because, you know, it's going to look old, but it's not going to look half-life old, you know? Um, but that's just a, that's just my, my take on things. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got a taco. We got, uh, Koob's. Oh, they're probably playing, uh, Overwatch together. Ooh, which one should we raid? Koob's or taco? We've been raiding Taco a lot. We haven't raided Koob's in a long time. Let's raid Koob's. Let's get get Koob's some some viewers. Oh, let's run our tasty uh uh credits. All right. Well, thanks everyone for coming out. <laughs> I just noticed there's nothing in the credits. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, I'm always just super appreciative of all you guys coming out, keeping me company, having fun, hanging out, watching me play these awesome, cool games. Hey, thank you, Wireball. I really appreciate the cheer. <laughs> A single bit cheer. You know what? I'll take it. Thank you. Actually, let me see if I can restart the credits, see if you show up now. Oh, hey, look at that. Wireball the real. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that was silly and fun. I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed hanging out with all of you. So thank you all for coming once again. Um, And yeah, thanks for agreeing with my theory. I'll have to get into it later more. Anyways, enough delaying, enough him and 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 uh uh what's the word um dilly dallying delaying stalling stalling anyways enough stalling let's get raiding all right everyone thanks for coming out i really appreciated having you as always uh take care of yourselves stay safe and uh you know for all you wonderful people out there who aren't feeling well. I hope you start feeling much better. Anyways, bye-bye. Toodaloo. And happy 25th anniversary to Half-Life. Ta-ta.